Yosh Vanjwa, uh, hey everybody. So this video is going to be in English or in Hindi because in this video I'm going to answer a few questions which I get almost every day uh, by my students or by the people I know on LinkedIn or on YouTube or on Instagram. Like they know me, uh, like I do teach uh, Japanese and business Japanese and full stack IT courses on uh, online on LinkedIn. So. They usually ask me uh, like a few very common questions, so I have listed them. So I'll try to answer those questions in this video, so you can watch it now and later, and it will definitely help you. <coughs> so the uh, questions I like get almost ev every day. The main main question is uh, nowadays, like I'm being asked very often, that is, do we need to learn IT programming to pair it with our Japanese knowledge? And if yes, then how it is uh, it is useful? Uh, for now and then for future and the question related to this question like the uh, I can say add-ons are uh, what level we need to know if you want to work in Japan then do we need speaking <clears throat> then do we need N2 level of uh, certification then what kind of IT study we need in order to get a job faster in Japan uh, so in this video basically I'll try to conclude all of these questions and I will try to answer them as per to my knowledge uh, my current knowledge so it will be a personal uh, opinion and just i'm just i'm going to say each and every single thing according to me based on my experience and my current knowledge so if you like it you can take it so first question like do we need to it uh, programming to pair it with the japanese knowledge so if you are learning japanese and if you know uh, japanese language up to n5 level or n4 level if you are n4 then it's so much good but even if you're n5 then it's fine so yes definitely you should learn it programming and uh, like full stack development or software engineering or software development website building uh, not that uh, static website building but a uh, uh, serious kind of website building including front end back end and database designs api services and all so definitely you should learn it programming and it development with your japanese you can definitely pair it with your japanese language and it will help you a lot like uh, more than you can think as of now because right now you know Japanese but you don't know IT so you don't know or you can't see the opportunity you can get but once you will be learning IT then definitely you will be able to see the opportunity you can get in Japan or in India also in the next upcoming uh, like five years or ten years definitely in Japan or in India uh, at both our places we will be having tons of jobs in IT programming field especially for the development field because everybody is going to uh, do a business or everybody want to do a business so somehow at, at a, like somehow in their business there will be time or there's just there will be a certain time when they need uh, some kind of IT services so if you can give those IT services to, to them it is going to be very much helpful for them so definitely learning uh, building mobile application or web application will help you a lot and because you know Japanese so you can get a job in Japan that is an advantage in Japan basically like uh, what level you need to know in, in order to get a job in Japan if we know IT. So basically in Japan, like there might be two cases. One, like first case you need, uh, I mean, you know Japanese, but you don't know the IT knowledge. But, and second case is you know IT and plus Japanese. So right now we are talking about when you have an IT knowledge plus Japanese. So in some other video, we'll talk about when you have just Japanese knowledge. So when you have IT knowledge plus Japanese knowledge and in, in IT domain you are, for example, you are having development knowledge, mean you are a full stack developer or maybe you are a front end developer or a back end developer or you, or you are a mobile application developer or the web, web application developer. And if you have, like, so, so in, in that case, the minimum uh, JLPT level you should be having is N4 and the maximum is N3. There's a misconception that you need uh, N2 level which is necessary no right now currently in japan uh, there is no need of n2 level you just uh, if you are having n3 maximum and n4 minimum but with it you must be having a good communication skills in japanese if you don't have that uh, 
then you might uh, feel difficulties to get a job but if you are good at speaking then definitely n3 is more than sufficient with your it knowledge so like you can think it like you have to balance you have to balance your it knowledge and your japanese speaking knowledge so if you are having both and if you are good at it you can get a job in japan very much easily and nowadays in the next five years in japan the trending jobs in it are the front end development using react js or javascript so using javascript you if you are a front end developer there are high chances that you can, you can get a job because in japan we ha they have a lot of back end developer but they don't have front end uh, developer so that will help you a lot but if you are a full stack developer i mean you can do front end you can do back end both and if you are entry and if you do, don't have like experience of 5 10 years it's fine if you have experience of minimum of 1 year and if you have done few projects basically like if you have hands on practice experience uh, using your full stack development knowledge and if you are good at your uh, japanese speaking along with business japanese and you think that you are you are confident enough to uh, clear any japanese interview I mean you are confident enough to clear any japanese conversational round in interviews and then your it rounds also then definitely you can apply for a job in japan so learning it will definitely help you to get a job in japan kab se kuch bhi ho ja rahi hai ho ja rahi hai ho ja rahi hai kar do usko tank kar diya yaar okay so do you need and to know you don't need and to know you just need and three maximum and minimum and four and uh, what kind of it study will help you a lot so full stack development first of all give you a huge benefit if you can't do full stack development then you can do front end if you can't do front end even if you don't if you don't have interest in front end then you can do back end so front end mean when you uh, make a designs using code on website on the mobile application back end mean when you build api services so if you uh, but uh, like for example if you want to know what are what are the front end and back end and uh, full stack de development and i just started my it course for japanese bilinguals and in that course basically i teach you everything you need you need to know to get a job in japan or in india in it field along with your japanese language so i'll be helping you with front end i'll be helping you with back end and i'll be helping you with full stack development i'll be teach you teaching you programming from zero to uh, intermediate level where you can apply for jobs in japan specifically and i help you in uh, interviews and resume writing or technical terms in each and every single thing basically so that will help you a lot and i hope this video will help you uh, because uh, most of the time i'm, I'm being asked that uh, should you should you learn it and now because everybody is learning it in all over the world so we know japanese so that is an advantage we have so should we pair it with it definitely you should because it will help you a lot on linkedin daily i uh, see many job uh, offers use and they ask for at least a one year experience and uh, basically japanese language up to n4 level n3 level and uh, like if you know javascript or back end front end development if you know java then it's totally fine they can uh, like hire you based upon your japanese skills or the it skills well uh, one thing i want to add you when i'm saying you need just n3 and maximum n3 and uh, minimum n4 i mean you i mean that is by default added to it that you should be good at speaking i mean you should be able to speak your japanese because in india when we ask for n3 we ask for n3 certificate okay but in japan when we ask when they ask for n3 level they ask for n3 level of knowledge along with your certificate mean your certificate should match your japanese skills so it's your, your communication skills because in india basically when we know n3 so we can pass the n3 exam we know all the grammars we know all the vocabularies we know the kanjis but we are not able to speak at all and i'm not talking about business japanese like we are not able to speak normal japanese so uh, i'm sure that we are not able to speak business japanese but in order to work in japan the business japanese is extremely 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 important and speaking very much important because uh your in your 8 hours job all day you will have to speak japanese with your colleagues so and you have to send email you have to receive email so everything will be in japanese so uh and anyhow if you want to survive in japan and you want to grow over the time then you have to have a uh, japanese skills in a good way there is a one more uh, thing that in japan when you are good at it 
I mean, some some people say uh, say that in Japan you can get get a job in IT companies or in IT field, even though when you don't know Japanese. Yeah, that's true. That's correct. But that's the case when you are very much good at your IT skills. So at in that case, they they can avoid your Japanese skills. They can ignore your Japanese skills because you can give them much profit. But that's the case when you're extremely 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 good at it. If you are not good at it. Like if you are not having ten years of experience, then if you are having just one one year of experience in IT, then you have to learn Japanese. There is no other option. So yeah, that's true. But uh, each and every single person working in Japan having like uh, I mean not having Japanese language skills, they are definitely having uh, great skills in their field and they are having ten years or fifteen years of experience in their field. So that's why they are getting hired. But you will not. Uh, get hired until unless you are not good at your Japanese communication skills, both day to day life and based on Japanese along with your IT skills. So three things you you need to learn in a very good way: your Japanese communication, day to day life, then your Japanese communication in business Japanese, then your IT knowledge. Certification you need and minimum N four, maximum N three. IT 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 knowledge you should learn, which is a full stack de- development, front end, back end, and databases basically. So if you know all these things, which are very easy. You just need one year of learning, like uh, like the my course of full stack development. Just take six months. In six months, I prepare you. I teach you almost each and every single thing. And the Japanese communication needs or requires three to four months basically. So if you can spend a uh, nine to ten months or six months on yourself for your learning, then definitely you can prepare yourself to get a job in Japan uh, with uh, less difficulties basically. So uh, thank you so much for this uh, for watching this video uh, for this video and I think I have explained each and every single thing till now. So I hope next time when you will be asking such questions to me, I can refer you to this video. So thank you for watching. Mitigrote arigato. Ja suyo dogo de matai masho. Kyo skere. Bye bye.